Three, two, one. Hello and welcome back to another. <laughs> you can do it. You slap. You vanquish too much. Hello and welcome back to another Flora and the Novice Explorers video. As you may be aware, we are currently on lockdown in Sardinia. However, the video we bring you today was filmed quite a number of weeks ago. Yes, one thing that we have learnt with this happening is that you guys want to be up to date. You want to know what's going on and there's no point in sitting on videos that were filmed in February. So we're going to use our time wisely, edit them and share them with you guys so that when we leave here, you will be up to date and know exactly what's going on. So stay home, stay safe and stay sane whilst you enjoy our travel vlog from back when we were exploring Portugal. But just before this video begins, at this timestamp here in the video, we do visit a chapel that is heavily decorated with human bones and the like. So if you are of a sensitive disposition, just skip this part of the video. It's only 20 seconds or so, but um, if you don't want to see it, yeah, just, just skip it. It's not mega gruesome, but some people might not like it. No. But anyway, here we go. This is not just a travel vlog. This is a Flora and the Novice Explorer travel vlog. Capturing the sunset from the most westerly part of mainland Europe at Cabo de Roca Lighthouse. Enjoy the serenity of this sunset, as the rest of the video is all over the place. You'll see what we mean. After such a beautiful sunset, we woke up early to capture the sunrise. The day starts as it always does with a coffee. This is what happens when you can't be asked to do last night's washing up. You have to eat your breakfast out of a mug. We had spent the night here, cheekily stealth camping in the car park just in front of the lighthouse. Cabo de Roca is situated to the west of Lisbon, where we are heading to at the end of this video. Unfortunately, the sunrise was disappointing. However, it was quite a contrast to last night's crowded event. It was a lot more densely populated by tourists on bus trips. So, what have we been up to over the last couple of weeks? So the last time you saw us, we were in Sagres, which is right at the south of Portugal. Since then, we have traveled north. We've walked 15 kilometers along the Ruta Vincieta coastal path, beginning at Mila Nova Milfontes. The route stretches 400 kilometers along the west coast, covering beaches, sand dunes, pine forests, and cliff tops. It was stunning, but a little bit windy. From there we made our way inland to Evora and there we discovered five millennia's worth of history. This includes an old Roman temple, the Chapel of Bones, and the Standing Stones, which are kind of like the Portuguese version of Stonehenge. Next, we explored Sintra on foot, hiking through the Moorish Castle Gardens and taking a peek at the Palace of Peña. Only taking a peek though, because it is very expensive to see all three of the historic palaces up there. And we've got our budget to think about. So all of these adventures were intended to be individual vlogs by themselves. However, after reviewing the footage, we don't think we capture the quality content that we strive for. So we do do our best to keep you updated and entertained and sort of informed as to where we are and how our adventure has progressed. Unfortunately, most of the footage we've had of these places is left on the cut room floor, but we've been able to use a few bits here and there just to uh, tell the story of where we are. It's also been pretty wet and grey since leaving the south, which hasn't helped inspire us very much at all. But it's time to shake off this funk 
and get back into the swing of things. So we're off to visit the capital city, Lisbon, and we're hopefully going to meet up with Leon and Meek, who are fellow van lifers known as Fantastic Travelling. But before we hit civilization, I think it's time for a quick freshen up. I definitely want to wash my hair, but there are no showers in the vicinity, so what we got to do? Bucket wash. God, we treat you. You're having a fantastic video today, I'm telling you now. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is the sad reality of living out of a tidy van. <laughs> you ready? So this is not the most ideal hair washing setup, but it's definitely one of the better views I've had whilst doing it. Now do you know what we mean about quality content? This is what we need. <laughs> Me bent over a bucket washing my hair. This is premium quality content. I'm hopeful you can appreciate it. So we were hoping to get a little bit more footage here and show you kind of the area we're in because we didn't get much this morning because it's so cold and windy, I was going to get the drone out. But the weather's closed in now, it's wet, um, I can't see very far at all, so we're just going to move on. Uh, we had a bit of a bucket wash as well, did the bits of our bodies, put some new clothes on, so we feel better, don't we? Yeah. Uh, so now we are going to do the drive to Lisbon. From here it's just under an hour. Uh, we're not sure kind of what traffic we're going to be facing or anything, but we've got a destination in mind. It's a car park, quite central, would you say? Yes. Um, it's five pounds a day. I don't think there's any amenities or services there. So it's the best of the available selection. There's no um, good campsite really nearby like we've experienced before in bigger cities or like a free air. Sometimes they have a nice air. Leave the van and visit the city, but it doesn't really seem to be an option in Lisbon. But we're looking forward to it. Hopefully the weather gets better. Hours drive ahead. Um, and that's about it really. How was that, Maggie? Um, the drive was a little bit hairy at times. There's moments <laughs> where it's like, shit! Um, we don't do too much city driving, do we? If we, we can avoid it. Yeah, <laughs> it, it has to be done. It's not as if we're nervous particularly of it, but it's mm, just... It's just... In those situations, those are the situations you're going to get smashed into the back of because there's idiot <laughs> other drivers and you're trying to leave a distance and they come in and then they're just not going when the traffic's flowing. But we're here, so it's fine, and I got me ticket. Yeah, and supposedly five pounds a day? Hopefully. Um, so we're going to be in the spot for maybe a couple of days, depending on what happens. Look who's in front. That is Peggy. And inside is Leon, Meek, and Mia. Meow, Mia. <laughs> Should we get camp set up and comfy? I think I probably need to put the kettle on. Now do the chap, the chap, <laughs> the chapel of bones and the standing stones. Stones. <laughs> Stop. We've walked. We've walked 15 kilometres. Were you still talking then? I think you were. I got a bit carried away. <laughs> Three, two. <laughs> 